So before we start learning about the triangle itself, I want you to know about the porta hepatis. Now the porta hepatis is also called the gate to the liver. Now supposing this is the liver, over here in the inferior surface of the liver, we have the porta hepatis. So as it means the gate to the liver, it's the area where these structures enter and leave the liver. So we have one duct, one artery and one vein. These together comprise the porta hepatis. So the duct is the common hepatic duct, artery is the proper hepatic artery and the vein is the hepatic portal vein. So it's enough if you just know what it is and that these structures enter and leave the liver. So the common hepatic duct leaves the liver via the porta hepatis. The proper hepatic artery and the hepatic portal vein enter the liver through the porta hepatis. So coming to the uh, duct and the artery part. So these are the structures that we'll be seeing in the Callitz triangle. So first we are going to see about the ducts. So you can see this is the gallbladder and this is the common hepatic duct. These are two hepatic ducts from each lobe of the liver. They come together, they form the common hepatic duct and from the gallbladder, we use the word cystic for anything related to the gallbladder, so we have the cystic duct. Now the common hepatic duct and the cystic duct together form the common bile duct. So we saw in porta hepatis, common hepatic duct exits the liver through the porta hepatis. The next thing, we have the aorta and from there we have the proper hepatic artery. Now the proper hepatic artery, it divides into a left hepatic artery and the right hepatic artery. Let me mention quickly though the proper hepatic artery and how it arises from the aorta is a different video, video altogether. So for now it's sufficient if you know that this is arising from the aorta. I will uh, talk about the other branches in a different video. So we have the proper hepatic artery, a left and a right hepatic artery and from the right hepatic artery we have the cystic artery. So now you know that we have a uh, hepatic duct and the cystic duct and we have these hepatic arteries and this is how they overlap in the area of the Callitz triangle. I will draw a clearer image in the next few minutes. So we start by addressing three most basic questions that we ask every single time we learn about a topic, what, where and why. So what is the Callitz triangle? It's an anatomical landmark, it's a triangular space and it's also known as the cystohepatic triangle. So we saw it's in relation to the gallbladder and the hepatic structures. So it's also called the cystohepatic triangle. Where is it located? At the porta hepatis. So now this is the hepatic common hepatic duct. This is the cystic duct. And we saw that we have a proper hepatic artery from where there's a left hepatic artery and there's a right hepatic artery. The right hepatic artery gives off the cystic artery. The, the Callitz triangle is this. This area forms the Callitz triangle and is also called the cystohepatic triangle. So why do we need to know about the Callitz triangle? Why do we name a random triangle in the body and say that it's important? Because when we are performing a surgery, we need to be able to safely execute it and avoid complications as much as possible. So if you misinterpret what is already existing in an area and or if you're not able to recognize any anatomical variations, these could prove disastrous. For example, when uh, we do a laparoscopic cholecystectomy, which is removal of the gallbladder, laparoscopically. So one of the most serious complications is injury to the common bile duct. So to be able to operate in this area, you need to know what structures lie in the Callitz triangle and how they traverse and what are the normal variants. Now let's take a closer look at the Callitz triangle. So here we have the liver, this is the undersurface or the inferior surface of the liver and here we have the porta hepatis. I have not drawn the hepatic portal vein here, I am just going to show you what is relevant to the Callitz triangle. So this here as we saw before, the common hepatic duct, this is the gallbladder, this is the cystic duct coming from the gallbladder, the common hepatic duct and the cystic duct together form the common bile duct. This is the proper hepatic artery. This is the right, sorry, the left hepatic artery. 
this is the right hepatic artery from the right hepatic artery arises the cystic artery and we have the calyx triangle here so this area here is the calyx triangle now we're going to look at the borders and the contents of the triangle now this is, is considered the apex of the triangle so the apex is directed towards the liver now this is the medial side and this is the lateral side because this here is the left hepatic artery this is the left side and this is the right side and the liver lies on the, lies on the right so this, that makes this the medial side this is the lateral side now the medial border is the common hepatic duct inferiorly we have the cystic duct and superiorly we have the inferior surface of liver so it's a triangle with an apex directed towards the liver a medial border which is along the common hepatic duct inferiorly we have the cystic duct and superiorly we have the inferior surface of the liver So now coming to the contents. The contents, it's very obvious. We have the right hepatic artery here and the cystic artery. artery. So these two are contents of the calyx triangle. Apart from these, we have lymphatics and we also have something called the lymph node of Lund. Okay, so the lymph node of Lund is the first lymph node of the gallbladder. So these are the contents, the right hepatic artery, the cystic artery, the lymph node of Lund, and lymphatics. So let's quickly run through it. Now at the inferior surface of the liver, we have the porta hepatis and structures entering and uh, leaving through the porta hepatis. And here we have something called the calyx triangle. So this is the calyx triangle, this is the inferior surface of the liver. We have a right hepatic artery, a cystic artery. We have the common hepatic duct, the cystic duct, and a common bile duct coming out of it. The triangle here is called the calyx triangle. The contents are the right hepatic artery, the cystic artery, and lymph node of Lund and lymphatics. So that was all about the calyx triangle. Thank you for watching this video.